Today, we're going to do a bundle review for the Triumvirate Treasures. Is it worth buying? And then I'm going to rip open 16 of the Formation Choice Chests. Man, I hope I get lucky. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskel Gaming, and today we're reviewing the Triumvirate Treasures Bundle, because like it or not, the formation system is here. And the formation system is very much, in my estimation, a loot slot machine. And I think that's a reasonable way to think about it, because every time you do something that might give you an armament, you're really rolling the dice on whether or not you get good attributes, whether or not you get an inscription, and... The rarity as well is totally up for grabs. So the thing that's really solid about the Triumvirate Treasures Bundle is that you get a bunch of chances to get an armament for the formation of your choosing. This is a big deal. I think that this bundle is a very solid pickup if you are a mid-spender in Rise of Kingdoms and typically buy bundles outside of when we see recharge events, which, by the way, at the time of this recording, there should be a recharge event uh, event in the next week or two. So with that said, the Triumvirate Treasures Bundle is only, only a $35 bundle. You get three, then five, then eight of the epic formation choice chests. And I want to mentally prepare you because you can get an epic or a legendary armament in every single one of them. But the overwhelming majority of what you're going to pull is still kind of going to be something not great. You're just going to recycle it. You're going to get gold gathering. You're going to get tr like load capacity. You're going to get siege unit stats. The overwhelming majority of these armaments are going to be trash. But the reason that I think this bundle is a solid pickup now, early in the formation system, is that it gives you a huge jump start on the collection of armaments that you have. Because right now, even if I just get one stat, if it's for the formation of my choosing, it might even still be an upgrade. Eventually, you'll only have two stats on an on you know an armament, and then it's considered an upgrade, like infantry attack and infantry health, for example. And then it'll be three stats, and then it'll be three stats um, plus you know an inscription or two stats, all damage and an inscription, and so on. So I think this is a really good pickup now when you don't have many armaments to work with. Weirdly. This bundle decreases in value the more money you spend on it. So for $10, you're getting five armament ch choice chests here, formation choice chests, which means that once you buy this a couple times early on, if that's what you're doing, you might want to consider slowing your roll and just doing $5 a day instead of rushing it all at the start. That way, you get more formation choice chests for your dollar. It's just going to take you longer to do, just like is the case for most ways that you get value over time in this game. So my recommendation would be to rush this thing a little bit if you're a mid-spender. Otherwise, take it slower at that $5 pace um, every single day. And that's what I plan to do probably for two weeks to maybe even a month. I'm going 35 bucks a day, and I'm going to stop buying all the other things I would have been buying to reallocate my budget to do that. But enough about the bundle itself. Um, let me show you in my mail exactly what's in there, just so you can see with your own eyes what's contained in the bundle. As I was mentioning, you're only buying this for the formation choice chests. The speed ups here are very minimal. The resources here are very minimal. Uh, this is all about formation choice chests. $5 tier, value over time. Let's buy the bundle today. Rip them open and see what we get. Okay, with my $35 spent, let's see what I actually obtain. I mean, it's just about $2 per crate, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But as I was mentioning earlier, right now, this is probably the best upgrade I can get per dollar that I spend. Because I, I mean, this is relatively few armaments, especially relatively low quality armaments, not in terms of the color here, but the number of actual stats they have for stuff that I want early on. So I expect I'll get a bunch of upgrades here. And something to keep in mind if you're interested in the formation system, consider subscribing to the channel. I make daily videos about Rise of Kingdoms. In fact, I have a whole playlist dedicated to helping you learn the armaments, formations, and inscription system. Link will be in the description of this video to go find the playlist for every 
video I've made about the formation system. All that ceremony out of the way, let's open these up. And I need to tell you, which formation should you choose? I think the skill damage formation is one of the very best. And I also think you need to think about which one of these you pick in terms of threes. Think of this in threes. Uh, there are really three different troop types you should be really hyped about if you get a perfect roll. That's all infantry stats, all archer stats, or all cavalry stats. And what a tragedy it would be to pick a formation like Echelon Formation. This is all about buffing. There's really just one march I think this is good with, Trajan and Mulan. It might also be good with a William-based march. But if you pick this formation and you get a perfect archer-based uh, armament, how sad would you be? It's a perfect roll, but there's no good archer march for Echelon. So what I'm trying to say is, think in three, so that no matter what uh, troop type it ends up rolling, if it's a perfect roll, you can use it immediately and you're getting value. For me, I think wedge formation is the jam. For field fighters, rally leads and garrisons, I think wedge is the jam. Possible value over here could be very good for garrisons and rallies that are anti-swarm focused for arch formation, but without going too in depth on this, because that's really a separate video, I'm gonna do wedge. Uh, so here we go. Wedge it is. Honors of the Pantheon. Total garbage. Siege, siege, archer defense. Tragic. Okay? The majority of your pulls are going to be kind of tragic. That's why there's a recycle system in here uh, in the game. And then you are supposed to recycle those to get armament choice chests. Or really, they're formation choice chests is what they're called. Okay. Uh, what do we got? All damage and archer stats is actually okay. All damage is way better than you would think. I'm going to snap that as a lock. That might be an upgrade for me. I'll have to see what's on Nebu. Oh, pff, I have a better one on Nebu already. Well, GG, we keep going. I have a triple archer stat on Nebu. And I have a triple archer stat on Boudica. I mean, I am in a great a great place with the archers for that particular piece. And that's why they call it a formation choice chest. You pick the formation, not the armament. An armament choice chest would be really interesting. Uh, you pick the formation, then the armament. That would be really good. But whatever, now we have this level of randomness, and 2% infantry defense is pretty pretty tragic. Uh, we got siege health, siege unit attack, okay, whatever. Confirm it, continue. What do we get? Wedge formation, and honors of the Pantheon. Oh my god, I'm getting clapped over here. Infantry attack, double siege, no good. As I mentioned, the majority of these will be no good. From here, wedge formation, epics of Olympia, Cavalry Infantry Siege. No good. I'm not even getting inscriptions, which at least would recycle nicely. So, GG here. Wedge Formation. Again, legendary. Let's freaking go. I haven't found anywhere that the rates are disclosed for whether or not you get a legendary or epic. I would love to know what those are. What do we get? Man. Set your heart on getting pwned. You really do need to assume you will get wrecked. Because the thing is, if you get like one perfect roll, pff, I mean, it, the $35, as weird as it sounds, from a spender's perspective, ends up kind of being worth, if you even just get one perfect roll out of one of these guys, even without inscriptions, I would be like, yep, that's pretty damn good. Um, okay, wedge formation, banner of the Pantheon, absolutely wrecked. I am getting pretty decimated over here. We're almost halfway through. We rip this open again. Wedge formation. Come on, baby. Hey, it's a legendary. Okay. Please. Come on. <sighs> Man. Decimated. Gold gathering infantry siege. Absolutely wrecked. The loot slot machine is not kind to me day. Okay. Come on, please. We're halfway there. What do we get? Wedge formation. Honors of the Pantheon. March speed for archers. This is trash. Barb damage reduction. Gold gathering speed. GG. We do it again. Formation choice chest. Wedge. Please. Honors of the Pantheon. Cav attack archer defense. This is trash. Six left. And we've gotten really zero. I would say I'm hyped for. None are, zero upgrades. Wedge. Please. Legendary. Okay. Come on. <sighs> Infantry defense archer attack wrecked okay okay five more to go wedge 
Epics of Olympia, come on. Okay! Perfect roll. Perfect roll. That's pretty good. Health would be better than attack. And honestly, the stats on here are a little low. Um, you really could look for like, I think in the realm of 2% of stats for some of these, but all damage 1.3 is actually very high. That's a lock. That's an upgrade. Huge win for Cavs. As, as I said, like, I don't know. Is this is this worth the 35 bucks? I don't know. But from like a spender's standpoint, I mean, given that I probably have almost nothing in this slot, I might have like just a little bit of attack. I'll, sh I'll show you the upgrade that it is in a minute here. In fact, I'll just show it real quick. What do I have for cavalry? I have all damage of 1.1% and cav defense of 2.4%. It's actually a slight upgrade, but I have this, this Garbo on my XY. So it's an upgrade for my XY. Man, okay, whatever. We continue on. Four more. Can we get more lucky? Inscription? Um. Okay, cav defense. Cav march speed. Okay, I mean, this is okay. And more march speed. Did my cavalry really need more march speed? No. But technically, that is three attributes. Well, two attributes and an inscription toward cavalry. I mean, that's probably going to be an upgrade for me, actually. Better than what I have, because right now we all have nearly nothing at the start of this system. Okay, open it up. Wedge and Olympia's Chorus Master. Close, but no cigar. Uh, Archer defense, all damage. But I think I've got better for both of my other ones in that slot, so is what it is. We do it again. Wedge. And, hey, inscription. Okay. Trash. March speed infantry, march speed siege, health of siege, and this is 2.5% additional resources upon gathering. Bro. Trash. And, final one. Formation choice chest. Rip it. Wedge. Come on. Epics of Olympia. Give me a triple stat. Double stat, it, it's a versatile one. So this works as archers all damage or cavalry and all damage. And in that regard, it's versatile. But you don't really want versatility. You want specialization. That's the whole point of this. So you can judge for yourself whether or not this was ultimately worth it. I feel like I got at least one that is going to be an upgrade and maybe a couple others that I jam onto my XY. However, if you're looking for more information about the formation system. As I was describing, there's a link in the description. I'm gonna have a video for my live stream where we talk about the state forum, we talk about traveling and dispatching, the whole nine yards as we unlock the system. That card will be over here. And if you wanna go really off the deep end on why I think wedge formation is the best, that video will be right over here, card in the end screen in just a second.